title, right, YouTubes? I don't know why I'm whispering when I'm about ready to fire off my damn motorcycle. <laughs> All right, we're gonna ride up to uh, the oldest bar in California. Let's get up there. I got my snowboard pants on, you guys be laughing at me. That's how I ride when it's cold in the mornings. These things are, they work great. And they're super comfy. You can wear your board shorts under them if you want. And then it's super comfy riding. Let's see what time we launch at. It's not super early, it's like six, 6.17 in the morning, <clears throat> maybe we get past this, uh, the coastal fog, maybe we'll get a bit of a sunrise. I might have missed it, I might be lagging on that. Let's see how we make out here. All right, so here it is, we're getting on the freeway. I find free riding to be pretty damn boring a lot. I'm sure a lot of you do too. Um, but in the early morning, a lot of times where it's like this, <clears throat> and there's not much traffic, it's not that bad. is I got a road up here that I'm gonna go that I get off on highway 129 it's got a couple little curves in it so that's, that'll be a little bit you know break up the monotony but uh and then once we get out past the central valley up there head towards the foothills the roads get really really fun and it's nice and uh I'm gonna try and do a stop by at Lake Don Pedro and check uh Ryan's out there at his houseboat. I want to do a stop by. Ryan's building an old FXR right now. Um, it's going to be a really cool bike. So I'm going to go up to the uh, bar first. We'll get up there. We'll go to the bar. They open at eight. Maybe I'll get some breakfast. And uh, I'm not going to get there until 9.30 or 10 anyways. I got about a three and a half hour ride right here. And then uh, then we'll go we'll go check out the houseboat, see if I can uh, find Ryan up there. All right, so we'll be coming down the road for a little bit here. I'll show you guys what I got going for my cold weather setup. I do got the heated gloves rocking this morning. They help a bunch. I have a heated vest on underneath my uh, my jacket and my other leather vest and then of course I told you guys earlier I rocked my snowboard pants and I got that idea from my co-worker Frank you've seen Frank in my videos we did uh, Arizona last summer and Frank's been on the cock and balls run Frank's got a I think it's a 93 or a 94 Dyna and uh, it flat out screams and it's got this killer 21 inch front rim bike looks killer uh, probably the loudest Harley Davidson in our little riding group it's got the Vance and Hines straight pipes and it sounds like a freaking Harley Davidson it's supposed to sound like um, sounds really good but yeah he turned me on to the snowboard pants thing and it makes sense I mean you already got the gear right everybody probably goes skiing or snowboarding you know, why spend money on extra gear if you already have gear in your arsenal or your wardrobe? And they're super comfortable and they keep the wind out and it's really, really nice. And then uh, that's about it, really. I like to try and cover up any bare piece of skin that can hit the wind. I tend to stay a bit warmer. <clears throat> All right, this is my turn off so we can get up here to Highway 129. Then we'll get a couple little and little turns in.
10 avocados for a dollar. No way. Come on. Was that was that sign for real? That's a, that's a damn good deal right there. 10 avocados for a buck? It's Saturday morning traffic. This is nuts. And the worst part is, now that I'm all stuck in the traffic, now I gotta drop a pee, man. <laughs> oh, brother. Woo! Had to drop a pee and find my little D. Woo! Now we're ready to get back in the race. Oh, mama. The sun's breaking through. Oh man, hopefully that's just all the marine layer sucked in. And then once we get over the mountains, it'll be sunny the rest of the way up there. California right here 
when I was a kid, you'd see all the bikers ride out here to Bud's place, and I thought all you did on a Harley was ride right here to Bud's and then ride home. <laughs> Oh yeah, and then the, the cemetery's right next to the grade school. It's hilarious up here. I gotta show you this. <clears throat> so you get the cemetery. Then you got the school. I always thought that was a trip. Or I'm gonna come up here to uh, the Grange Road, and uh, we'll head out that way. into Yosemite National Park. I'm at Don Pedro Vista Point. I'm gonna shed a layer. There's one houseboat out there. Look how low the water line is. I'm gonna shed a layer. Then we'll get up to the iron door. Fun little stop at the Vista Point there. 
on a gorgeous day. Shed it off the layers. It's it's warming up now, so oh, we we're just cruising now, baby. This is nice. So that was Moccasin Point, Vista Point. There's some cool switchbacks we get to go through up here. this pass up a little bit to see if I can hit it. Let those guys go. Let it clear out for a minute. Then maybe we can get a couple turns in, huh? Oh, there's Highway 49 down there. Doesn't that look nice? All through the valley. If it doesn't come through on the GoPro, I'll try and zoom in on it. That's a great motorcycle run, it's Highway 49. All right, let's see if we can get a couple.
here we are in Groveland. Saloon is the oldest continuously operating saloon in California and remains a popular tourist stop between the Bay Area and Yosemite. Located just 25 miles from the Yosemite National Park entrance. The original bar was called Jake's Place in 1896. It was later renamed the Iron Door Saloon in 1937 after iron doors hauled by mules were installed and the doors were meant to be an aid in fire prevention in case the neighboring buildings caught on fire. There's tons of history on the walls in here from Yosemite, the old Hetch Hetchy Valley before it was dammed up to make all the water for San Francisco. Old photos of Yosemite. Tons of character in here. Great stuffed animals. old dollar bills up on the ceiling and just tons of history in here. The interior has a typical decor of an old saloon with the original bar is still intact. It's just t really cool, tons of character. Fun place.
All right, we're gonna go out this way. We're gonna get go through Coulterville out to the lake to see the um, houseboat. Let's see how we make out. All right, squiggly for two miles, loving it. So this is the road going from Groveland to Coulterville, and uh, this is going to be this is going to be good. <laughs> yeah, I should have downshifted one more gear right there. What are you doing at the lake? Fuck, that sounds like work. I'm going to shine it and keep riding my motorcycle. <laughs> right on, dude. Nah, they're working on the houseboat. I'm not going to go out there and work. I'm going to go ride the motorcycle. I'll get plenty of work tomorrow at NorCal on a Sunday. I'm going to rebuild an Atosa refrigerator. I hope I get video for you guys. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to go out there. They're working. I'll just slow them down. They're putting in a new mini split on the houseboat. That's pretty cool. It's too nice not to keep riding today. Absolutely gorgeous spring day. And the weather's like, it's like perfect. It's probably 75 degrees out here is just freaking nice we'll see if I get back up into the wind on that side of the valley it'll probably get windy again crossing the dam damn it <laughs> 